Hello friends, it is Mrs. P. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy hump day. <laughs> I, Wednesdays, Mondays, Fridays, they all run together in the summertime, but during the school year, Wednesdays are, are nice because you know you've made it to the halfway point and it's just downhill from there. All right, so I am here to do my budget check-in. This is our first check-in for August. Um, I am pretty happy with things, how they went. Uh, there was a little bit of a snafu over the weekend, but I will get into that. But all in all, we did pretty good. So I will go ahead and get started with this. I apologize for the light. Okay, guys. I am going to try to piece the two videos together. I just had to cut the video off. I had a phone call coming in from my son and uh, his fiance was having an allergic reaction. So I knew it was an important phone call and I didn't want to miss it. So I went ahead and stopped recording, but I don't want to completely start over. So I'm going to try to merge the beginning of the video and this part together. So hopefully that works. All right, so we are going to start out with the income. Uh, Mr. P's income, we had budgeted 1,000. It came in just over 1,000. It was 1,017.72. Miss P, I did pull in 2,200 from the summer savings. And then from other, we were expecting 295. We only got 275. And there is a reason for that, but the rest of it will come in later. And then we had one more other come in, which was a very unexpected uh, amount. It was $35, which is not much, but what it was is Delta. Uh, remember I, when I was in Washington and we were flying back, we had multiple delays. Now it wasn't as bad as some people, but it was significant, the delays were. And so Delta refunded everybody who had checked a bag their checked bag fee. So I got a 35, look at me, $35 uh, re refund from Delta. This should be zero. Okay, I'm all sorts of messing up now. All right, so anyway, so this is our income. It totals to be $3,527.72. Okay. So now let's get down to our bills and expenses. Our mortgage came out at 1140. Progressive came out 29615. Microsoft 1818. Assurant 1492. Car wash 3999 and Life 360 855. All right, so our bills and expenses, they total $1,517.79, leaving us with $2,009.93. Okay, so then I'm going to go down here to our savings and sinking funds. Let me bring that total down, $2,993. I did take out $235 for sinking funds and $138 for savings, so nothing changed in this area and that leaves us with one thousand six hundred thirty six dollars and ninety three cents okay so this is the area where things did go a little bit haywire <laughs> all right so let me move that total up here sixteen thirty six ninety three let me zoom you in just a little bit more all right so groceries 150 20 for pets 10 for household 25 for Mr. P, 55 for me, and 20 for Miss P. That's where things stayed the same. Eating out. Had no, no intentions of eating out. But Saturday, we had like a little family emergency. Um, we had misplaced a family member or they misplaced themselves. And so, we were not home all day. We were riding the roads looking. Um, we had to make a report to the police. I mean, it was just a big, long day. And so, uh, we decided I did not eat breakfast or lunch that day. It was a stressful, like, I got the phone call, 
you know, or bef I had, had my coffee. I did have my coffee, but I had not eaten anything. And um, I got the phone call that somebody was missing and I like dropped everything and just left, me and my husband. And so we, we did end up eating out. We didn't eat out. We actually ordered in pizza. Uh, and we, this is actually not the entire amount of pizza that we bought. We spent a little over $40, but I did use the money from the miscellaneous account to help fund this. Um, we provided pizza for everybody that was looking so that, you know, because it had been a long day and nobody stopped to eat. And so we knew at the end of the day when it was all over with, we wanted to make, or well, everybody, they had been found. And so we wanted to make sure everybody had something to eat. So we bought pizza. All right, gas, another thing, we did go over in gas because we were driving the roads all day Saturday, used up a whole tank of gas. So I had only budgeted 40 and I spent 80, which I'm not even gonna be sad about that because that was just part of it. All right, miscellaneous was five and nothing, I don't consider, I'm not saying those are unbudgeted because they did have categories for them. So I'm just gonna leave unbudgeted as zero. All right, so this section adds up to be, I apologize for this light. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I didn't realize until I started seeing the glare that the light was shining and the, the sun is starting to set. All right, so unbudgeted was zero. Okay, so here we are, 385, 64 was the total of this section. And that like, leaves us $1,251.29. Which is still okay. We're not too far off from what we had in our budget. All right, so I'm going to move that total down. And here are all of our debts that we paid. We paid the truck payment, we paid the car payment, paid Wells Fargo, we paid Citibank, the ortho came out, and we did not put anything toward the snowball. So this section did not change. $1,153. And that leaves us with $98.29 to roll over for our next week's budget. $98.29. Okay, so we were not too far off. And I mean, I would don't even want to say that I'm upset about it because I'm just thankful that everything turned out okay. Nobody was injured, nobody was hurt. It's scary when one of your elderly family members can't be found. It just, it, it's a terrifying feeling because you think every second that you're looking, like what if they needed you like that minute? Like what if something happened and you are too late? So anyway, all right, so that's that. Let me go ahead and do my check-in. And I've got it all on a sticky and it's a hot mess, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in. I've lost my pen. All right, so groceries, I spent, I went to the grocery store three times. All right, so, well, actually I went to two stores on one day and then I went back on Sunday. So on 8-1, I went to Walmart and spent $100. I went to Ingles. This is where we buy, like if I'm not buying meat at Sam's, I will buy it at Ingles because they have like really good meat. And I spent $38 there. And then I went back to Ingles on the 4th and I had to get some bread, so $5 there. And very rarely do I go back to the store, I just do without. But I went to pick up some things for my mom this was Sunday, we were canning, and so I ran to the store to get her some things that she needed. And while I was in there, I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and get some sub rolls because I'm planning on making some sub sandwiches for my daughter and I when we go to my um, doctor's appointment. So there we go. All right, so that was groceries. Let's see here, pet supplies. I did buy some cat food. Um, that was at Walmart, and that was $6. Okay, and then household, eight one at Walmart, 
I spent ten dollars and I'm trying to think I know hangers was one of them and what else did I get for household it was something for my husband what did he need mouthwash maybe all right eating out we did eat out and I'm gonna put the full amount and that was at Pizza Hut and that was not the first that was the third okay Pizza Hut and I'm gonna put $41 because I know it was 40 dollars and some change all right so that was eating out gas we got gas twice on 8-3 we got gas at Walmart for forty dollars and then on eight four we got gas at the shell station for my husband's truck that we used to drive around and look for my family member okay that is all for our check-in not too bad no unbudgeted expenses extra gas not too bad and eating out so all right, friends, that is all. I will try to fix the video to where it is all in one. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.